Well, today on Nation Window Cleaning Podcast, we are going to talk about raising your prices. It's a terrible subject. A lot of you don't like talking about it, but it's absolutely necessary to continue to grow your business. So if you have any kind of service business at all, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, if it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully, you enjoy the show. There's 200 and almost 240 episodes now. It's a lot of content going on for four years every single week. Haven't missed a week yet, knock on wood. So go and watch, binge, everything. Hopefully, you pick up a thing or two, but either way, hopefully, you just better your business in some way. Uh, If you didn't know, I am a sales rep for windowcleaner.com. So if you want any supplies, any at all, you want a rep. Yes, you do. You want to let me put the orders in because you're that awesome. My number is 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. Call me, text me, tell me, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Put the order through. And then all I do is click go instead of you. And it's like an awesome virtual high five, a, a virtual fist bump of awesomeness doesn't cost you anything extra and I get credit for it. And that's how I make money to live on. So there you go. Um, if you haven't yet also checked out America with a cleaner magazine, please go do that. We have thousands and thousands of downloads every single week on the show. I know a lot of you have not subscribed yet. Go subscribe, do the best thing you could possibly do. And it makes me happy. A little, 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 little warm and fuzzy feeling every time I see subscriptions come across. So thank you guys for everybody who has subscribed. But go to awcmag.com and subscribe. There's also a sticker club. You like stickers? Every magazine comes with a sticker. Buy stickers, sticker club, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, shameless plugs over for the day. Like I said, we are talking about raising prices. Um, if you have watched or listened to anything that I've done or the majority of stuff that I've done... I talk about raising prices a lot. And the real truth of the matter is this is kind of how it goes, right? So you get in a price that you're happy with. Now, for me, when I was early on, I underbid everything because my brain just didn't wrap around the whole thing. And then when it came time that I did want to raise prices, in order to get it back up to where it should be, I have to like double people's prices because I waited so long. Every single year, you have inflation, the value of a dollar, all that fun stuff. And you have a lot more things going on for you, for your business. If you wait too long, which a lot of us do, not only are you losing money every single year, you're making less. I'll I'll explain that in a second. But you're also going to get to a point where now all of a sudden it is so, you're so far off from where you need to be. You're stepping over dollars to make pennies, first off. And second off, you're actually going to... um, (laughs) Sorry for my phone. But uh, you're also going to um, uh, not ever be to where you want to be. Well, let's just get into it. So first off, as of writing uh, this show or or recording this show, um, we're at a 7% inflation rate. Let that sink in for a second. Now, I'm not here to talk politics. We're not doing that. Um, I'm not on that front right now. That's not where I'm trying to go with this. But 7%, which is ridiculous. That's the most, the highest inflation since 81 or 82, maybe 82. Ridiculous. Absolutely amazing. Um, It's terrible. First off, everything costs more money, right? Everything costing more money means that everything that you're buying costs more money. Now, at windowcleaner.com, we try very hard to have some of the lowest prices in the industry, but sometimes Unger, Ettore, some of these big brands will contact us once or even it's been lately more times than once a year saying, hey, we have price increases coming. So what has to happen is then for the next batch, we know that our price on things are going up which means that the price on goods goes up in general. Now, you know, rubber, expendables, blades have gone up. Um, Systems in general have really, really gone up. 
Um, just to give an example, the Hydropower Ultra, which is a simple DI, was four ninety nine for ever. Now it's like you know five something. It's just it's gone up. Uh, as of recording this, I think it's a five fifty five something like that. Like crazy, right? Those are huge jumps. It's like a ten percent increase. And that is with inflation costs, costs of goods, uh, supply chain issues, all that, everything has to go up. But then there's us, window cleaners, who if you're not raising prices, you're staying the same. Everything else you're doing has gone up. That means you're making less profits on every job. Now, I know in your brain you're like, yeah, but I'm not greedy. I'm not. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You make a fair wage for what you do. You're a luxury service and you're a service at that. Why are you the one taking the hit for the economy? Why are you the one taking the hit for inflation? Why are you getting better and smarter every year, but yet you're the one taking the hit for that knowledge? Now, I'm going to say this. This has been uh, written out a hundred times thousand times i've seen it written that is george washington said it and i've seen it a bunch of other ways i highly highly doubt it was george washington but the one version of this was that there was this giant shipping uh, container ship and it was docked they couldn't leave and they couldn't leave for weeks they're losing thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars because this thing's not moving they can't get it to move. No one can fix the engine. They finally call an old timer mechanic come in. He goes in with his tool ben, or his tool bag, looks at it, pulls out a wrench, loosens up a bolt a little bit. Boom! Everything fires up. They go, "Oh my gosh! You saved our company. You saved everything." They get leave. They can pull out a dock. He sends him a bill for twenty thousand dollars. And they say, how are you charging us $20,000 for this? It took you literally five seconds to do. We need it itemized or we can't pay this bill. So he sends it in and he said, $5 for turning the wrench and $19,995 for knowing where to put the wrench, right? So you always get paid so much more for your knowledge, right? And every year you get better at what you're doing. You're listening to a literal podcast about window cleaning. You're telling me that in the last year you didn't become amazing. You didn't become awesomer than you ever were before. Now, knowing what you do this year in 2022 over 2021 or over 2020 or over 2019 or whatever, say you started in 2015. From 2015 to now, have you gotten any better? Have you gotten any smarter? Have you increased your value to somebody hiring you? Now, I'm not sitting there with you right now, uh, as creepy as that sounds, but I'm guaranteeing that in your head, you're like, well, yeah, heck yeah. I am a billion times better now than I was when I first started. You may have started last year, right? I've been doing a bunch of lives and things. By the way, just as like a weird plug, if you're on TikTok, search out Jersey WCR Nation on TikTok and, and join that. I do daily TikTok tips, and then I'm also doing more live content uh, on the forums and stuff every day, just like uh, something to talk about. Anyway, what we were talking about was just that, right? You're a better company and you're a better value than you ever were. So for you to not charge for that. Now, if if you look back and go, okay, from when I started to now, I am a hundred times better, right? Think of that number. What is that number? If you're like, oh, from when I started to now, I'm like, you know, 7% better. Well, 7% better, that's inflation. If you're going to increase your prices by 7%, you're just breaking even on inflation, <clears throat> right? But if you even think that you're 10% better, 50% better, whatever those are, 
in theory, don't do this, but in theory, you should raise your prices by 50% because you're 50% better. Now, I know before you go, oh, this guy was, I know, I know. It was just for conversation, that statement. But from when I started to when I sold my company, I was hundreds of times better. I remember my first job, just as an example, my first job was a machine shop that I had gotten through somebody, uh, actually through my mom, I think. My mom had worked with them in the past and they needed somebody and just happened to ask her. She's like, oh my gosh, my son is thinking about starting that. They hired me. I was so excited. Coldest day of the year. Started first job, did it. It took three hours and 20 minutes to do this job. And I charged like $80 for ins and outs. <laughs> I, uh, I did not make uh, a dime. But what I did do is learn, right? That same job when we left was, and this is no joke, slated, slated for 18 minutes. When I did the job the first time, it took me well over three hours longer than it should have. But I cut three hours. Now, I know that's not me bragging or doing anything. Just hear this out in reality. It was my first job ever. I was slow. I didn't know what I was doing. I was learning on the job. I was doing all that. Fast forward 16 years later, obviously I know what we're doing. I know our crew knows the operations. I know, right? So it's a kind of an unfair thing, but I, there's no way that I could charge them the same amount of money in the beginning than I can now, right? So be paid for your knowledge. You're spending time right now. Now let's, let's, I'm going to, I'm going to figure this out. Say you're one of the OGs here. Say you're the cool kids. Say you place your orders through me. You've got your American window cleaner magazine subscription, and you've watched every single episode of WCR nation. Say that's, that's, that's what you've done. All of that training you've spent 120 hours 120 hours of listening to my nasally voice tell you things about window cleaning. 120 hours. What's crazy about that is what you don't understand is as you get better, as you get better, you spend so much time being better that in our brains we don't justify it right? If you've listened to every episode of this, now you probably had it on while you're doing other things. I know you're not just sitting here doing this, right? I know that. But if you did that eight hours a day, every day, it would take you 15 straight days to watch or listen to all this content, right? Say if this was your job, 15 days, take out weekends, right? That's three weeks. Three solid weeks to go through all the content you have if you've listened to every episode of Nation. Three weeks of your life, you were bettering yourself, right? How long does it take you to, to read through the magazine, right? You're reading articles, you're doing all that, you're looking at new products, you got all that stuff. You got your posters, you got stickers on everything. Everything you do is surrounding yourself with knowledge with being better this is why somebody who's hardcore in the industry for x amount of years knows way more than the new person as it should be there's a lot of people who get into in the industry or any job and they just like you know mess around and just like oh i do it and, you know I, I have people still to this day a who don't know that the podcast exists right they don't know that WCR exists. They don't know that we sell equipment. They don't know that this is even a thing. They just kind of do it. I know that there's people out there and I had competition like that. But for all of you who have taken it on to learn everything you can, to build the value, to be the smartest, the best, the brightest, all of that work, you have to then get paid for. So understanding that if any of you out there right now 
are under that $65 an hour as like the low end, your prices are too low. Your value exceeds your hourly. And please do comment. If you're watching this on YouTube, comment, email me, text me, whatever, um, if you have an issue with this. But I have to say that if you are not in that realm, your prices are too low. If you tell me, oh, yeah, maybe in some markets, but not in my market, not my customers, I'm telling you you haven't tried it. I'm ha you haven't tried it, and you haven't given it enough time. Because the value of what you do is there, and it has to be increased. Every day, it has to be there. We're a luxury business. Your job is not to get everybody. I had somebody tell me this. This is absolutely mind-blowing. By the way, not you guys, because you guys are all listening and bettering yourselves, but there are people out there who do not understand business. They hear things, you know, on the news, and, and they hear things in, like, you know, fancy, you know, business movies. And then they try to put it through and try to sound smart. I literally had a guy one time tell me that he'll never charge more than he does right now. I said, well, that is ridiculously stupid. You're losing money. And he told me, he goes, no, your model is different than my model. I said, how so? He said, because I do more work, right? I can do more jobs because everyone's saying yes to make more. That's stupid. You're not Walmart. The more sales someone has in products means that they can buy products for cheaper. You can never get your labor cheaper. You can never get how many hours you have in a day cheaper. Now, if I'm Walmart or say WCR, we have awesome prices because we sell more ladders in the United States than any other company. Now, let me rephrase that. Not ladders, stack ladders, right? There's a lot of products that we sell that we have more of, sell more of, which means we get a better discount in the front, right? If you sell a thousand stack ladders a year, the next guy sells 25. We are getting ours cheaper than another company would be getting theirs, right? So we then can sell more and actually make more profit. Now, if you're a service business, that does not, is not how it ever will ever work. The more you work, the less you can do, right? Here's the thing. If you have to close 10 jobs to make what I can make in two jobs, that does not mean you're smart. That means you have a failed or a, not failed, I would never say failed really, because some people just run that way. But if that's your mindset, it's wrong, 100% wrong. If I'm working eight hours, I make $1,000. You work eight hours and you make $700 and do twice as much work, how are you winning? Right, so think about that. So back to inflation is 7%. Always raise your prices over inflation. So unfortunately, this year, new price increases are coming out at 8%. I'm going to do a percent at least over inflation. That way I'm not losing money and I'm getting a little bit more money for my knowledge. A big thing to think about that people really do forget. They're like, oh, people aren't going to like pricing. Everything is raising. It's common. It's like the dentist uh, scheduling thing. Every person that I've ever talked to that is getting onto this scheduling at least every six months at the end of service before they leave is mind blown. I can't believe everybody's okay with this. It's already in people's brains. It's already a thing. You're not reinventing the wheel or coming out. You know, if you call, you, hey, sorry, this year we had to uh, double our prices. Yeah, people are going to be like, what? That's such a quick shock that they're not going to do it. But hey, uh, sorry, we had to uh, raise prices this year. We're just raising them a percentage above inflation. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody, ever, all prices are going up. Yeah, it sucks. People, every time, 100%. I've never once ever in all the years I've done this ever had somebody leave or, or stop, stop using me because of that, because of the raise, not ever. I've had it before where my first batch, uh, maybe a year or two, I did what I found was wrong, 
way, way, way low. So when I tried to get everybody up to make it kind of a healthy company, I lost a few people when I did that because I did raise prices by like quite a bit. I think it was like 25% or something just to get nudge them back up, you know. But it has to happen. Small increases, a percentage above inflation makes sense. Inflation in general works like this. If I buy something, a cheeseburger for a dollar, but next year it's now a dollar seven for the same cheeseburger, my dollar is technically worth less, worth less. That's if everything across the board rises, right? That's inflation. That means prices of absolutely everything is a minimally raising at least 7%. That means our dollar is 7% less valuable than it was a year ago. The same thing where, you know, back in the 50s, you could buy a house for $3,000, right? $1 or $3,000 could buy you a lot more back then than it does now. Inflation, that's how that works. It's the value of a dollar. So if you don't raise prices, hear me out so much on this. If you're not raising prices regularly, it's not that you're being greedy or want a Tesla. And if you are, awesome. We're a luxury business. Do your thing, right? But the thing is, is if you don't raise your prices, at least inflation, you're making less money. That $100 job, $300 job, whatever, is not worth $300 in your pocket because everything costs 7% more. You just made 7% less doing the exact same job and now being a year smarter than you were, a year better, faster, stronger. You're losing money if you don't raise your prices. I know, I've had people, by the way, tell me the money thing is always, I've always had people when I talk about this who think that there's some kind of, you're doing this wrong, man. You just, all you do is just increase the price, increase the price, just keep increasing prices, man. You're just greedy. No, I'm a business person. That's how business works. Let's talk about this. If you increase your prices or just raise prices in general, if you're not able to advertise or you're not able to get equipment, or you're not able to do all that because you don't have the money, you're not making enough. Minimally, 65 bucks an hour. And that's even low. Like, that's like your average. Man, we had a crappy day. We only made 65 a man hour today. If you're doing this and doing like $40, take your average for the whole day. Take your drive time. Take your jobs. All of that. How long were you gone? How much did you make? What's your hourly? Yes, put drive time into that. Because if you have larger areas, you have to increase the price of everybody so that you can account for more in between. I have people all the time who are like, hey, I want to get a pure water system. I've been in business now for 10 years and we're, we're trying to get a water fed system. Awesome. I truly, genuinely, 100,000% think that water fed is absolutely the greatest tool that we have for our job. Now, it doesn't mean that anybody who uses squeegees, because you still got to use squeegees a lot, right? It doesn't mean that that is any worse or anything. I just love the water fed pole. It's faster. It is simpler, safer, easier. It so many good things anyway but a system could cost three thousand dollars now i've had people who have said oh my gosh three thousand dollars there's no way there's no way i i nobody's buying these things right we sell thousands of systems a year thousands what yeah yeah i know companies who buy multiple systems all the time like just two days ago, I had a guy buy three full setups. So there's a thing that kind of goes into all of this. If you are not able to advertise, you're not able to buy equipment, you're not able to feed your beast, you're doing something wrong. I This is a true story. No knock on anybody. He was new. He bought a channel from us. This is like last uh, last year, like a couple months ago. And he said he finally had enough money to buy a handle. Caught me a little off guard. But hey, everybody starts somewhere at the budget. I sent him a handle. And it, it was $26. It was a ninja handle. I sent him the handle. I said, this is awesome. It was a wide body channel. He was looking to use it with a Luke, Luke channel. I said, this is the great handle. This is what I like. He wrote back, LOL, no way, comma, that is way too expensive. 
A $26 handle was way too expensive for this guy. Now, he had said that he's getting into it. So it's a whole different ball game when you're not making any money. But if a $26 handle costs too much, you are having extreme issues. And I get this all the time where people are like, hey, I, I can't do this. It's just too much money. We just don't have it. That's because you're not charging enough. People look at the money that they charge on top, you know, the profits. They look at that as like somehow, you know, what they get to go buy fancy things when really it's feeding the beast that's your company. The bigger your company gets, the more expensive it, expenses it has, the more advertising it needs. You look at million dollar companies, they're spending 10 plus thousand dollars a month, 20, 30,000 dollars a month. I know a guy who is doing mailers. He's paying like $3,000 a month in just print costs. He's feeding the beast. You're going, oh my gosh, how does he afford that? Well, think about it. Every dollar you put into advertising brings back X amount and should bring back more. If every dollar you put in brought back $2, if you spend $3,000 on mailers, you're going to get $6,000 back, right? You made $3,000 in new work and profits for the next however long you have them as customers. It all makes sense, but you have to have the money to do that. If you're not able to buy equipment, you're not able to feed the beast in advertising, you're not charging everybody enough. That's why that whole $65 an hour, and we have jobs we do $100 a man hour in window cleaning. Not all the time. I'm closer to that 65 is like a good healthy with drive time, but we're on jobs making that $75 an hour. I can pay my techs better, I can profit, and there's a lot more money to go back into the company, right? If you're not raising your prices from where you were before, you're making less money and you're, you're, you're killing your growth. Growth is exponential. If you spent $100,000 two years ago to get advertising, anything you got then, you'd be doing this year too, right? Unless they left. Most people are reoccurring, but say you have 75% of your reoccurring, we're here, right? You did $100,000 in advertising. Say it was a one-to-one. -one. There's no way that would happen unless you had really crappy everything. But say you made $100,000 in work off of that advertising. You're going to make a lot more than that, but let's just say. $75,000 this year, you'd be making from the advertising you did two years ago. 75% retention. What's crazy about that is that people who take years off of doing that lose all of that potential growth. 10 years from now, you'll still be doing those jobs. You'd have made 10 years of income from all the people you got out of that one advertising. And then out of those people, how many are giving you referrals? How many are increasing their jobs from once to once a month, once a, uh, a quarter, once a biannually, you know? Understanding that what you feed your beast has to come from somewhere and that is your prices. Your prices go to everything on that. And something that we, we've talked about but not really talked about is pay for employees. I know that all of you are struggling with employees. That's the hardest thing right now. The market is absolutely amazingly terrible. Um, there's companies out there like Amazon paying you know 18 bucks an hour for somebody to pull stuff off shelves. It's very hard for somebody to want to actually work for a living and a lot of us are having that issue right with that being said if your prices were raised say you it you were making 50 percent more 10 percent more just pick a number just to like understand 10 percent more even if your margins and everything else didn't go to anything else 10 percent could go to your employer or your employee if you could in theory pay your employees 30 dollars an hour still run an awesome business have enough profits and enough uh, everything else to be healthy and happy, those employees are not leaving you. The, the headache is off there, and you're going to have some really amazing employees at that price. Where does that money come from? If you're charging $40 an hour, you can't pay an employee $30 an hour, right? If you're making $100 an hour, you can pay them $30 an hour and still have enough to feed the beast. I'm telling you, if you haven't wrapped your brain around it, I know it is an uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable. I get it. But I'm telling you, 
it is absolutely valuable for you to do that. It just means that you are going to be better off, stronger. Your company is going to get in. You're keeping up with it. It's huge. You have to kind of go and um, focus on pricing. A lot of us just let it go and we think we're great where we're at and we're not. You have to increase everything. I do it in the beginning of the year and I hope you do too. So anyway, there you go. That's my rant about pricing. Uh, if you need supplies, which I know you do, 862-312-2026 is my number. Follow me on TikTok because it's new and I want you to. And of course, put them the right way. Get subscriptions to American Window Cleaner Magazine. We'll talk about it all the time. AWCMAG.com. Look at a subscription. It would be absolutely amazing if you did. Either way, I appreciate it. And uh, raise your prices for gosh sakes. But more importantly, until next week, be epic.